Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to go over the description of all six of the classes for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And the only reason this is possible is because the last two classes were accidentally leaked on the Wonderlands official website. So we now have the descriptions for all six of the classes. So first I'm going to go over the two leaked classes that were accidentally put up on the official Wonderlands website. They were only up for a short time and quickly taken down, but someone did screenshot their descriptions. So first off, we have the Graveborn. Graveborn are death-touched acolytes who sacrifice health to unleash devastating dark magic attacks and become the Phantasmal Reaper of Bones accompanied by their manic Demi-Lich companion. Devotees of death, Graveborn draw strength from the pain and passing of others, growing in power as they send the souls of their enemies, screaming into the void, where most fear death, the Greatborn revel in it, and have even made it an ally. Aided by a powerful and ancient Demi-Lich bound to their service, the Greatborn knows that all power comes at a price paid in blood, whether it be that of their foes or their own. So some of the class information is the Greatborn is a master of kill skills, spells, and dark magic. They use their Demi-Lich companion and sacrificial action skills to enact suffering upon their enemies, even at the cost of their own life force. Any spell cast by the Greyborn will cause the Demolich to cast a unique spell of their own as well as triggering kill skills to summon hellish minions. And I do think this is going to be my first primary class once Wonderlands is released because also remember that there is multi-classing in Wonderlands so you pick your first class and then halfway through leveling up you pick another to combine with your first class and that makes something like this incredibly exciting as well because I'm very curious to see how your Demi-Lich companion that also casts their own unique spells anytime you cast something works with mixing in different passives or different abilities from other classes. And the second leaked class is the Spore Warden. Spore Wardens are masters of nature who summon tornadoes and launch volleys of arcane arrows into enemy lines alongside their toxin spewing mushroom companion. The Spore Wardens are swift guardians of the Wonderland's magical wilderness, deeply in tune with the natural world. Spore Wardens prowl through forests and bogs alongside their faithful flatulent mushroom companion. Spore Wardens are are able to annihilate their foes from afar, showing off their mastery of both conventional firearms and a mystical summon bow that unleashes a barrage of arcane arrows. And some class information is Spore Wardens are gun and companion specialists. They can significantly boost the abilities of their companions and allies while laying down withering firepower and slowing advancing enemies with frost tornadoes. Speed and distance are Spore Warden's best friends. So the Spore Warden seems to be more of an archetypal kind of hunter class. They have this mystical summoned bow that they can then use to shoot volleys of arrows and different arrow attacks. And then they have their mushroom companion mixed in with all of their other abilities. So it's almost like they took a kind of archetypal hunter and mixed in some more druid abilities and backstories into that. And it does seem to be a pretty unique class with how they're going about their version of a hunter and a druid. Now the four last classes of Wonderlands have been officially revealed to us. And we have a little bit of footage showing off some of their abilities. And I don't want to go into super specifics and going over their abilities shown in the video. That footage will be playing in the background. And I wanted to wait and go over all of the abilities for all the classes once all six have been officially revealed. So I'm just going to go over the description like I did for the two leak classes. So next up, we have the Berserker. Berserkers are tenacious, frost-infused bruisers who complement their firepower with an onslaught of brutal, up-close, and personal melee attacks. When it confronted with a problem, a Berserker's first instinct is to turn it into a popsicle and punch their way to a solution. Berserkers are hardy warriors who hail from the frozen mountains with a long line of ancestors who train their bodies to withstand and even harness the bitter cold of icy winters. Berserkers prefer 
prefer to do their fighting up close and personal, taking point on the front lines as a whirling maelstorm of exceptionally chilly death. And for the class information, Berserkers are specialists of melee and frost damage. The Berserkers' other worldly powers allow them to become enraged via their action skills, channel the power of frost through weaponry so that they may freeze and shatter their enemies, and manifest an arsenal of raw destructive force. Berserkers are even able to channel their blood thirst by leeching life from fallen foes using a dash of occult magic. So the Berserkers are kind of going to be the archetypal warrior or berserker for Wonderlands, and they're essentially having that more warrior or berserker class style, but then just mixing in all of the frost damage on top of all of their normal powers and abilities. And you'll quickly notice that with the classes of Wonderlands, that even though the game is heavily influenced from Dungeons and Dragons, most of their classes are trying to mix a couple of the more traditional classes of Dungeons and Dragons or other tabletop games to try to make something a bit more unique. So next up, the Stabomancer. Stabomancers are sneaky, critical hit focused assassins who summon magic whirling blades to the battlefield and disappear into the shadows at will. Look, Stabomancy isn't really its own school of magic, it's a way of thinking. Specifically, how do I stab that guy? Up close and with a dagger in the dark, a well-aimed bullet from afar, or even an ethereal psychic ghost sword. The thing is, Stabomancers are all about creating and capitalizing on opportunities. Jack of all trades, masters of none, the skillful Stabomancer exploits foes' weaknesses to stealthily strike vital targets to bring enemies down before they know what hit them. And the class information is the Stabomancer specializes in critical hits and status effects. They're able to keep enemies guessing by alternating between guns, melee weapons, and spells. All the while moving in and out of stealth to score guaranteed critical hits, though fragile, the Stabomancer can use their superior speed to evade damage and fire their guns while sprinting. So the Stabomancer is mixing more of that archetypal rogue, but then adding in magic to essentially also make their daggers be kind of a ranged magical attack. And like what you would expect from having a rogue, they're focused on their critical hits and being able to move around the battlefield very quickly and also have an element of stealth mixed in with all of their combat. And next up, we have the Clawbringer. Clawbringers are faithful warriors who bring down thunder and flames upon their enemies with a spectral hammer alongside their fire-breathing wyvern companion. The Clawbringers are an order of warriors who seek to bring heroism to the Wonderlands through fire and thunder. While it has long been rumored that Clawbringers are born with dragon blood in their veins, our legal scholars can neither confirm nor deny such blatant heresy. And the class information is Clawbringers focus on fire and lightning damage. The Clawbringers Dragon R empowers their whole party with additional fire damage and more. They can either throw their spectral hammer at enemies to deal sizzling lightning damage or slam it down on the ground to create a massive fire nova. Their trusty wyvern companion flies at their side, breathing fire upon their enemies and raking them with razor sharp claws. So they're keeping the theme of a lot of the classes having some type of pet or companion with them, and the Clawbringer has a little wyvern, which is essentially just a different type of a dragon. And the Clawbringer is essentially Thor and a dragon mixed. That's kind of how they're going about this. You have this big hammer, you do fire and lightning damage with your companion that's running around around breathing fire on everything. And then finally, we have the Spell Shot. Spell Shots are gun-toting wizards who can unleash a constant barrage of spells and bullets and transform their enemies into harmless livestock with the snap of a finger. Whether they're slinging spells or shooting shells, Spell Shots know that in the Wonderland, an adventurer survives by force of arms and arcana. While others may view their guns as mere weapons, the Spell Shot has trained rigorously until it becomes an extension of their own magical will, weaving a gun and grimoire together to enhance their spells and imbue their weapons. Also, they can turn enemies into fuzzy little animals, which is just hilarious. And the class information is spell shots are all about combining spells and guns. Able to equip two spells, their spell weaving ability increases spell damage and fire rate as they cast spells or reload, allowing them to seamlessly cycle between different methods of dealing damage. When enemies get too rowdy, their polymorph ability can take an enemy out of the fight by transforming them into harmless sheep. So the 
spell shot is essentially a mage archetype just mixed in with being heavily infused with the guns of borderlands so most likely you're going to see a bunch of enhancements to your guns to do additional effects have different damage and it almost reminds me of a kind of battle mage from skyrim with a sword in one hand and a spell in the other just borderlands version so that would be a gun in one hand and a spell in the other so that is it for all six classes of tiny tina's wonderlands and like i said at the beginning keep in mind that there is multi-classing in this game so once you start the game out you're going to choose one of these six classes as your primary class and you can't change that primary class on that character you'd have to create a new character to get a new primary class and then part of the way through the game you choose a secondary class out of the other five but that secondary class you're able to respec whenever you want so you have a ton of replayability and potential and a ridiculous amount of builds to try out even just having one class as your primary so there's going to be a ridiculous amount of different class combinations different builds different cool stuff to test out in wonderlands much more so than any other borderlands game up to this point and so far we've only gotten shown a couple spells from all the four classes that have been officially revealed to us like i said the first two were leaked we haven't seen any footage of any of their spells yet and i think i'm gonna wait till those last two classes are revealed and then i'm gonna go over all the different spells for all six of the classes that we have seen yet and most likely we will probably be seeing additional spells before the game is released in march and i'll definitely be doing videos whenever we see more spells for these classes but that's pretty much all i want to go over so subscribe if you want to see more wonderlands or other videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about all of these six classes for wonderlands and thanks for watching